Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be this holiday look, which was a smoky halo eye with some gold glitter. Um, definitely went a little bit too long, longer than I thought that it would. Um, I did a talk through today and I guess I just was super talkative and I just took my time with it. So I do apologize on the length of this video. Um, if I do more talk through, they definitely will make it a little bit shorter. Anyways, other than that, I know I went MIA on you guys again. I apologize. I was just kind of lagging on making a video. Um, it's just after you jump off the wagon of something, it's kind of hard to get back into the groove of things, which I'm trying to do. Um, also, I'm trying to get in this thing where I every week I will post two videos. I'll post a makeup tutorial at the beginning of the week, and then throughout the week I'll post another video, which will be a little bit shorter, something like a review on products or um, a Q&A video or does it work or not series, which I want to start doing. So things like that. So if you guys have any suggestions, if you want me to create any type of look, um, whatever it is, just make sure you leave those in the um, comments down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say, but I love you guys. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. All right, so getting started into the video, I already did my eyebrows off camera, I usually do. I just use MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I just put this over my eyebrows. This helps um, if you have oily skin like I do, my eyebrows always get oily and I hate it. So I use this technique for a couple days and it's actually worked, so I just put this over my eyebrows and then I go and fill them in using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and Chocolate. Looks something like this. And then once I put that on, fill them in, I just go in, if I have any patches or anything that aren't filled in, I just go in with my brow definer just to fill that in. That's what it looks like. And then finally, I just put my clear brow gel also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And no, this is not sponsored by her. This is just all the products that I use. So yeah, let's get started. Going in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC, I'm just gonna put this all over as an eyeshadow primer. The thing with this like paint pots from MAC and what I've noticed, if you don't quickly like go in and, um, like if you take your time with it, it'll dry up and it'll be harder for you to blend out on your lid, at least on my skin anyways. So you kind of want to be quick about it. Other than that, I love the paint pots, but sometimes I hate how dry they feel. And also before I got on camera, I did prime my face using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Focus, focus, okay. Looks like this. One of my favorites, this has coconut water in it, which is really good for your skin. Coconut, period, is good for your skin. I used to drink a lot of coconut water. I thought it was really good for your skin. Just drink lots of water. It's good for your skin, okay? And this is also not sponsored by Aquafina. And if you notice a little red mark on my lip, I didn't get punched in the face or anything. It's just that I'm getting over a cold sore. It's dried out completely. It's just healing. Go quickly in with my makeup sponge from Real Techniques, and I'm gonna put the, my Laura Mercier translucent powder over it just to set that. You can use like a bone-based, um, bone-based, bone-like color on like an eyeshadow if you want. But I just put this on top and it does a trick for me. I'm gonna be using the Morphe 350 palette. Super affordable, super good eyeshadows. Check them out if you don't know what more, or haven't heard of Morphe brushes. I'll leave the link below. And also, I got a lot of new brushes from Morphe. Like, look at this. Look at this. Treat myself, you know, my own makeup, my own present to myself for Christmas. So I'm gonna go in with this big fluffy brush from Morphe M532. And I'm gonna be picking up like warm colors. So I'm gonna go in with this one first, which is like a warm, soft brown. And then I'm gonna go in with 
this orangey kind of looking color. I wish they had names on them because it'd be a lot easier to reference them, but they don't have it. So I'm just gonna be putting this on the crease just to warm up the eye as our transition color. I'm doing back and forth motions like windshield wipers, just working that product in. When you're working with eyeshadow, it's better to take less than more because you can always apply more. Whereas if you start with a big um, amount of product, you can't take it off. Like, I mean, of course you can, you're just gonna have to wipe your whole eye off, but this way you can just take bits by bits and just add. And just back and forth, or you can do circular. Then I'm gonna go in with a packing brush and this is Morphe E10. And I'm gonna go in with a dark brown, which I mean, this palette has a lot of dark browns as you can see, it has all of these. So honestly, that's your call, whatever brown you guys wanna use from whatever palette. I'm gonna go in with like this darkest brown, tapping off the excess. And this is a really big brush. And then I'm just gonna pack this brown up and just try to do this slowly so I don't get as much fallout. We're gonna grab that fluffy brush we were packing the crease or we were applying the crease colors with and I'm gonna slowly blend that out. We don't want any harsh lines. And then you can go back in those colors that, I was, that you were using and blend it out. Now I'm gonna take um, not from that palette. I'm gonna go into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just gonna grab this gold which is called Primavera, right here. Focus! Oh my God, camera, there we go. So I'm just gonna grab that Primavera color and I'm gonna add it to the center of my eye, carefully, because you don't want this color going everywhere, you just want it in the center. So we can get that halo effect. And don't worry if it looks messy because we are going to be blending it out. So grabbing that brush and just blend it out. And this also, like blending this out, might take some off that brown color and won't look as dark. So you can just add more brown to darken it up. Then again, the brown that I'm using for some reason isn't showing up like super dark. A bit of eyeliner just to make it a little dramatic. So I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner. And we're just gonna line our eyes. I can never really talk when I do my eyeliner because I feel like if I talk, I'm gonna mess up. I don't want it too thick. I'm sorry that I'm like being so quiet, but I seriously need to concentrate. Okay. So there you go. Okay. Grabbing my eyelash curler. Curl these bad boys. Cause we're gonna apply some mascara. Now that I have my mascara on, I'm gonna be going in with my fake lashes from Coco Lashes. And these are in style goddess. I didn't want to do too extreme. I mean, these are kind of, they're not natural. They're not like casual, but they're not too dramatic. And, and to apply, apply fake lashes, I always use tweezers because it really helps place them. And 
And I usually grab them by the center and apply the center first and then apply the outer parts later on. The foundations I'm going to be using are Makeup Forever HD and my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm going to mix these two and apply them onto my face. And I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and blend that in. And when you're blending, make sure you bring it up to your ears and down to your neck. Just because some people's ears tend to like be red and that way you don't have like a nice beat face and then red ears. It just blends everything in. And I'm gonna apply my concealer from Born or from Too Faced Born This Way in color light. I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes. Just wherever you want to highlight, that's completely up to you. You don't have to do exactly how I do it. I'm grabbing that same beauty blender and I'm just gonna spray more fix blitz. Oh! oh my god. Thought I spilled foundation on me. And blend that out. Now that's done, and I'm gonna go in with my contour stick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in, in color caramel. And I'm just gonna put that on the sides of my forehead. For those of you who don't know how to contour, listen up real quick. I'm gonna contour the sides of my nose, just driving two lines down. And then the tip. So the closer you bring in your lines, the, sh the smaller your nose will look. And then down right cheek. If I had a bigger forehead, I'd contour like the top of it and everything. So that's just for um, girls with like a bigger forehead. Mine's not that big, mine's pretty small actually. And then I'm just blending that out with the same beauty blender. And then I'm gonna squeeze my beauty blender and blend out the sides of my nose. And there you go. And then to set everything, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder, my damp beauty blender from Real Techniques, and carefully I'm gonna set that slash bake and the reason the reason I'm using it damp is because that helps the product melt into your skin whereas if you use it dry it might come looking patchy especially if you have dry skin at this time of like around this time of year. So if you do have dry skin, make sure that you dampen it up and go in with the product. That way it won't look patchy. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. The camera stopped recording because I ran out of space on my memory card. You gotta have another one. So let's continue. Let's get this done quickly. Now I'm gonna grab my G2 brush from Morphe. And I'm just gonna dust off where I leave that powder just to get off any excess powder I have. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And I actually used this yesterday and I really liked it, so I'm gonna use that contour powder that's in there. And wherever I laid that contour cream, I'm gonna put 
from Anastasia. I really like this color. It's not dark, it's not too light. It's just like the perfect shade. And I really like this brush for contouring. This is the Morphe 435. And then the sides here. And then bring it up to the sides of my forehead. And then I'm gonna grab, this is 433 for Morphe, and this is the brush that I use to contour my nose. By far one of the best. I'm just gonna go in and use very little product and just build it up. Then I'm gonna go in with that yellow powder from the palette, the banana looking powder. And I'm gonna grab some of that. And we're gonna clean up that contour. Like I said, the smaller you bring those lines, or the closer you bring those lines in, the smaller your nose will look. The blush that I'm gonna use is from Tarte. It's called Doll Face. Looks like this, super pink, but super pretty. Apples on my cheek and then bring it back a little towards that contour. So I'm gonna go in with butterscotch from Anastasia, and this is in the sweets palette, but I just took it out. This is what it looks like if it focuses, maybe. And what I like to do, so it kind of blends in with like my contour and stuff, I like to, when I apply it, I like to go like this, up and down, and then bring it down. And I am gonna go in with my Hula Bronzer just to contour, just to bronze up a little bit, and then make that highlighter blend in a little bit better. And now I'm gonna dust off this powder. And helping or letting that sit really defines your cheek. Some people like to just brush it off real quick once they apply it, but I feel like it just doesn't have the same effect. For the bottom, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I'm just gonna use that brown that I was using earlier. And I'm grabbing a really small pointy brush and I'm just gonna apply that the lower eye and smoke it out. And then going in with my Tardiest Mascara from Tarte, I'm gonna apply to the bottom lashes. Using that same highlighter I used on my face, I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye. And then of course, don't forget your nose. This is what really makes your nose look super snatched. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose, blending that out. And then grab my pinky. And then I'm 
So I thought I was done with this makeup tutorial, but I totally forgot that I didn't even put any lipstick or anything on. So, so I'm gonna go in with stripped down pencil from MAC and I'm gonna line my lips. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna use Myth from MAC. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. And then on top, I'm going to add lip gloss. Obviously you can keep it like this, but I wanna add gloss. This is Oyster Girl from MAC. I'm just gonna add that to the center to make my lips a little pouty. Okay, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.